Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel ServiceNow Universe. Hope you all are doing well. In this video, we'll discuss about SSO that is single sign-on. We'll see what is single sign-on and how it works and we'll see how to configure that in ServiceNow. SSO is an authentication process that allows user to log in once and gain access to multiple applications or systems without needing to log in separately for each one. Okay. Now assume for example in my organization, we use uh, these service providers, okay, service now sales for zoom and gmail and many others uh, for our example We have taken these four. Okay. Now if I want to log into each of them Separately, then I need to remember the credentials of gmail credentials of service now credentials of salesforce and zoom Okay, and if there are hundred applications, then it will be uh, a hectic process, right? So now we, if we have single sign-on if I log into service now, then I don't need to log into Gmail. Uh, if I go to Gmail, then it, it will be automatically logged in. Okay, same with Salesforce and same with Zoom. Okay, so if I log in once, then I'll get up, uh, access to all these applications without need to log in separately for each one. Okay, now if I log into service now, how Gmail understands that the user has already logged in. Okay, uh, now here comes the identity provider. Okay, when the user try to log into service now, it will be redirected to the identity provider page, login page. And when the user logs into the identity provider, it gives the access to the service now. Okay. Now, when the user try to log into the Gmail, then again it redirects to the identity provider page. Now it finds that the user has already logged in. That's why it allows access to Gmail. Okay. Now let's see how it works. Okay. Step by step. Now user try to log into service now. Okay. Then it just checks whether SSO is enabled or not. Okay. If SSO is not enabled, then it shows the service now login page. And if user enters the service no credentials, the user will be logged in using the service no credentials. Okay. But if the SSO is enabled, then the service no login page is not shown. Uh, IDP, that is the identity provider login page, is shown. And then uh, when the user is logged into identity provider, if not logged in, then login fails. If the user is successfully logged into the identity provider, then it sends the token to service no. Okay, now service now identifies that token and trust the token and allows user to log into service now. Now the user logs in using SSO to service now. Okay, now why the service now trust the token sent by the IDP? It's because we have configured the IDP in the service now and we have configured the service now in the IDP. That's why it, ident uh, it just trusts the token sent by that IDP and it allows the access. Okay, now if the user is logged into the service now, if the user tries to log into Gmail, then it redirects to the IDP login page again and finds that the user has already logged in using the credentials of IDP then it will not show the login page it will directly redirect to Gmail application because the user is already logged in to the IDP these all identity providers are paid ones so for our demo we'll use SSO circle identity provider because it's free to set up SSO in service now we need to install a plugin so we'll go to plugins And we'll search with SSO. Okay, so I have installed that. That's why it is visible in installed section. If not, then it will be visible here in available for you section. So we'll just go to install. So this is the plugin integration multiple provider single sign-on installer. If this is not already installed, then we need to install this first. Okay. Once we install that, then we get a menu here multi provider sso okay so if i go to identity providers so we have already some identity providers here okay like we discussed azure ad octa so there are different identity providers here okay so we will add a new identity provider that is the sso circle okay before creating identity provider in service now we need to register the register in the identity provider first so we'll go to sso circle will register here okay so i'll just click on new user we need to provide the username i'll give the username as snow universe that is service no universe and let's add the password that should be eight characters and then i'll add first name service now last name is universe full name service no universe and email address i'll just add this should be the working email address okay okay 
now let's register register let's agree okay we need to confirm the registration in the email within 15 minutes okay after confirmation we'll see uh, that our account is activated and we can log in now okay so let's log in here so our username is no universe okay and let's enter the password let's log in okay so we are in sso circle now okay now as we have completed the sso circle registration let's create an identity provider in service now let's click on new and sso circle supports saml based so we'll just click on saml and let's wait for the page to load properly then once it is loaded then we can see this import identity provider metadata okay okay now we need the url or the xml to import the identity provider now from where we'll get it so let's go back to sso circle and we'll go to manage metadata here okay and we can see sso circle public idp metadata so we can just copy this xml and paste there or we'll just copy this link and we'll go here and put it in url okay now we'll just do import okay so once we do that uh, these all is automatically filled in we don't need to uh, fill that okay so let's save this okay now in service provider that service now is nothing but a service provider in the service provider we have added the details of the idp that is the identity provider okay now we need to do that same thing in here also okay so if i go to manage data uh, i can see add new service provider okay so now in the idp we need to add the service provider detail okay so for that i'll just copy the link of service now instance i'll just paste that here okay i'll select all these okay now here we need to add the metadata and from where we'll get the metadata here we have generate metadata so once i do that the metadata is generated so let's copy this and let's paste that here okay so now we'll just do submit okay so we have added the metadata successfully in the idp okay now the service provider is configured in the idp and idp is configured in the service provider so let's test the connection now okay now we need to log into sso circle when i clicked on test connection it shows me the login page of sso circle okay so i'll just click on login so yeah we need to select this and continue saml single sign on okay and we need to log into service now also okay now the connection is established between idp and service now that is a service provider okay so even though we have tested the connection while activating it is showing uh, before activating we need to do the test connection it's because the test connection is not successful because the user's email id is something different and uh, the one which we configured on identity provider is something else okay so the user must have the same email id as on identity provider okay so i'll just do this let me just save this okay now let's try to do the test connection again okay let me click on test connection now we'll again provide the username and password okay let's log in okay i'm not a robot okay it is asking for bridges okay now let's continue with single sign on now as the email id matches with uh, the one on the identity provider now it says uh, all checks are okay and now we get the option to activate so let's click on activate once we do that this is activated now okay now 
let's log out and try to log in and see if it shows us the okay so i'll just reload no this is not showing me uh, the identity provider page it's because we need to enable that okay now to enable the sso we need to go to multi provider sso again okay under that uh, in the administration we have the properties so let's go there and we need to enable this enable multiple provider sso okay but uh, that is disabled so to enable that uh, we can see the message here first we need to enable sso account recovery okay so we'll just go to that page okay so now here the first thing is we need to enable this that is enabled second thing is we need to set up the account recovery uh, so for that we need to click here and we need to uh, scan this using the authenticator app so let me just scan that okay and i'll just enter the code here the code is 519562 and i'll just pair this device okay now we'll enable the account recovery okay so account recovery is enabled so let me just save this okay and now we'll go back to sso properties okay now we got the option to enable this okay so we'll just check that and we will save these properties the properties are saved successfully and here uh, the field name is username um, but we are doing everything on email so we'll just change it to email so i'll just save this okay now we are in incognito tab let's log into the instance okay i get the option to see login with sso here okay so if i click on that okay now i need to provide the email id okay so i'll just provide the email id okay and i'll just to submit okay so when i submit it it will take me to idp okay now i need to log in here snow universe is my user id and i'll just enter the password and i'll just log in okay okay now we logged in through sso in service now okay okay when we try to log in through sso we clicked on login with sso option because uh, it has not redirected automatically so there is one option here auto redirect idp so whenever we try to log in it will auto redirect the idp and we can mark this as default so this idp will be it will be redirected to this idp and it will not go to other idps okay now to uh, check this we don't have option this is disabled so if we scroll down to the bottom we have a related link here so let me just click on that set as auto redirect idp okay now this is checked so whenever we try to log in now it will not ask for login with sso it will directly redirect to this idp okay so let's go to incognito window now okay let me try to log in again so let me just go to the instance now it will directly redirect me to that idp it will not ask for login with sso option okay so we can see it is directly redirected here and i'll just enter snow universe and i'll give the password and i'll just log in let me just select this checkbox and continue so we don't need to even click on login with sso it will automatically redirect if we set as auto redirect okay so this is how we can configure the sso in service now i hope you like this video if you like this video please hit the thumb icon and share it with your friends and subscribe the channel for more videos like this thank you